Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,423. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, either the start file or the finish file so you could follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this Excel Magic Trick, we got to talk about the Power Query function number to text, which will allow us to format numbers as text. Now, if we were over in an Excel spreadsheet using function, we'd use the text function. If we were using DAX function, we'd use the format function. But yes, we can format numbers with the Power Query number to text function. Now, this trick actually comes from Pomusco at YouTube. He posted under Excel Magic 1414, and his comment showed how to use Excel number formatting inside the Power Query function. Now, if you go to Help, it has three arguments. you got to put the number. The formatting is optional. If you leave it out, it just converts the number to text. And Optional Culture is an optional argument that allows you to access a language or regional setting on a particular version of Windows. Now, if you go look at the help, it doesn't say anything about number formatting in Excel. So that is really a cool trick presented by Pomusco. Now, let's go down here. What it means by formatting, as you can see down here, if we put a D, it would format it as a decimal with zero decimals showing. D1 would format it as a decimal with one decimal showing. D2 would be two decimal showings. And E means exponential, fixed, general, number, percent, and a few others. And some basic Excel custom number formatting will work also. Now, the regional settings for cultural value argument, that's this column right here. And if we scroll down, if we wanted to access Arabic Qatar, we'd put AR-QA. English for the United Kingdom or Great Britain, you use that. US, you use this. And if you wanted to access the regional settings in Polish, you'd use one of those. Now, just to remind you about Excel custom number formatting, if I highlight this range right here, Control-1, any of these options here are number formatting. If I select accounting and go down to custom, if I scooped all that out and tried to use it, it may or may not work. But some simple ones, like if we highlight it for custom and we wanted two lead zeros, a dash, and then pad any digits with zeros, we'd use the custom number for my 00 1234 And that would be our sample right there. When I click OK, that's the number formatting applied. And we can use that in this great number to text formula. Now I'm going to Control Z. This is an Excel table. So I can bring it into Power Query to see how the number to text function works. Now I'm in Excel 2016, so on the Data Ribbon tab, I have my Get and Transform. That is, I want to click the From Table button, and there's my column of numbers. Now I want to add an extra column, Custom Column. Call this Formatted Numbers. And down here, we'll use the number dot to text, open parentheses. We can double click. That's the number argument, comma. And let's just see if we can use Excel custom number formatting, 00-1234, and double quotes. That's in double quotes. And we'll leave the third argument off for now. We'll look at that later. Close parentheses. Click OK. And look at that we are allowed to apply some types of Excel custom number formatting. Now, I actually want to close and load two. And I'm definitely going to do this only create a connection, click OK. Now, I just want to do my little trick. You know, custom number formatting sometimes is complicated. But if I just want to go up and apply a number format, and let's say accounting, I wanted to see that accounting. Now I can Control-1, come down to Custom, and there it is. I'm going to try and copy all of this, Control-C, Escape. Here's my query over here. I'm going to double click to open it up. Now, if I try to apply, yes, that's a custom number formatting from Excel. I Control-V, and there it is. When I hit Enter, I get an error. So not all Excel custom number formatting are going to work. 
Now, it is just some of the characters, and it's super hard to highlight. It's just some of the characters within this number formatting that are causing trouble. So for example, if we were to try just one section in custom number formatting, there's positive, negative, zero, and text. So if I backspace and just try one of the sections and enter, oh no, that's not working right there. You know, underscores in Power Query usually means get data in this row. I'm not quite sure what it's thinking it is in double quotes. Let's see if that's it. No, that's still causing trouble. Maybe the asterisk, so if I hit Enter. Oh, no, that's not working either. So I'm getting rid of all these things we normally use in custom number formatting. I'm thinking that'll work because dollar sign, pound signs, comma to show a separator and decimals, that should work. So not all custom number formatting is going to work, but the basics will. Now, another thing that we could do if we wanted to is we could actually still use the different sections. So if I do a semicolon and then just minus 0.00, that will be our number formatting for negative numbers. And Enter, we can see, sure enough, the different sections work. And we could go on and do the section for 0 if we wanted also. Now, let's take a look at the other option besides custom number formatting. Now, I'm going to use the capital N. That's for a number formatting that will have a comma separator and by default two decimals. So I'm still leaving that third argument off, but I'm going to use the Power Query custom number formatting. When I hit Enter, there it's going to show us the comma and by default two decimals. If I want to change this to 4, N4, four, that means use that number format and show four decimals. Now watch this. This is curious. Capital N, if I do a little n, look at that. It doesn't change much. That's unusual because so much of Power Query is case sensitive. Now one part that is case sensitive for exponential, if I type capital E, that'll put it in scientific or exponential notation with an E. If I do a little e here, it'll show me a little e. Now, instead of doing Excel custom number for many 0.00 percentage, whoops, that would be for percentage. Notice we're saying, hey, show this as a percentage with two decimals. We could simply use the Power Query custom number format, P2, and Enter. Look at that. Now, let's go back to just straight N, and let's look at the third argument. So I'm going to come inside number to text, comma. Now, this would be silly if I did English dash US, because if I don't use this argument, it defaults to whatever your settings on your computer, because my computer is already set to this. And if you leave that argument out, it just defaults to what your computer is set. If I hit Enter, that would be silly. If I tried AR for Arabic dash CA for Qatar, Enter, it doesn't change anything over here, but I definitely could choose, for example, PL. And that would, when I hit Enter, apply the regional settings for, in Polish. And look at that. Instead of a comma and a decimal, we have a space for separator between 1,000 and a comma for all the decimals. All right, I'm going to backspace through this and simply use that second argument, 00-1234, in double quotes. Excel custom number formatting using the number dot two text. That is pretty cool. I'm going to click Close and Load. That'll load it to a connection only. Thanks to Pomusco at YouTube for that awesome trick. It's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. We'll see you next video.